All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the last images of the Twin Towers before they collapsed. There's something very interesting about seeing two skyscrapers in their last 12 or 13 hours alive on this earth. I mean, technically, they're not alive, but you get the picture. And, and th these were mainly images from September 10th and September 11th. All of them have been verified if you've done any research on the events surrounding 9-11, a lot of us, you know, we know that it did rain in New York City on September 10th. The actual uh, interesting thing, I wanted to go back and look at the weather on September 10th and September 11th. You know, we know on September 11th, it was bright and sunny, but you can see this is September 10th. Looks like the high was 82. This is New York City, Lower Manhattan, the financial district. Low got down to around 73, but there was a, a, a late rain shower looks like it rained around two tenths of an inch at around I want to say 8 45 8 o'clock and it kind of rained periodically beginning around 3 30 there were some clouds that came in the area also you did have a little bit of wind and then compare that to September 11th obviously there was zero pre precipitation on September 11th there were basically no clouds and looks like it reached a high of 80 degrees you can see, uh, you know, you go hour by hour on September 11th, it was fair, which means there's no clouds in the sky, it's completely sunny, all the way until around 9.51, where it comes off as partly cloudy, partly due to the towers collapsing, which put up a bunch of smoke into the air, which made it seem like it was partly cloudy uh, when it comes to that. But getting to some of these photos, uh, these are photos from the 10th and the 11th, the last photo, so... Looking at this, this photo was from September 10th at around 8 o'clock at night. So you can see this is looking out of one of the towers into New York City. You can see there's some rain and stuff. It's kind of a blurry photo, but looks like there's some mist falling during one of the rain showers. Uh, that is Tuesday morning. That's actually after the sun came up, probably. Uh, you can see the towers in the deep distance. That's a newscast there. It says September 11th. That is the morning of September 11th, probably. Before the sun came up, you can see the towers both lit up. It's interesting how they light up skyscrapers. It's like they automatically keep their lights on throughout the entire night. There's another one. That's at about 5.30 in the morning. Still completely pitch black. About I'd say they have about four hours left before they both collapse. Uh, this is another one. Very far away image. Probably one of the only images of the towers in frame with the sunrise of September 11th. You can see very little cloud coverage at that point in the day. There's another image, kind of a similar shot far away of the sunrise on September 11th. That's a photo. I mean, that's very, very close to the first plane hitting the towers because you can see it's almost, you know, completely daylight at that point, probably at around 8 a.m. there. That's probably about 7.30 in the morning. That is on September 11th, believe it or not. So you can see both towers in you know, perfectly fine shape, thinking it's going to be a completely normal day. You've got the beautiful black backdrop of the blue sky in the background. Uh, there's another photo you can see kind of becoming daylight right around 8.15 in the morning. Sun is officially up at this point. That is at 8 o'clock a.m., on September 11th, you can see a long kind of shot photo. Looks like from some type of security camera or weather camera overlooking the city. There's another photo from the river from a boat. That is on the morning of September 11th as well. That is a plane on September 11th. Looks like the sun's just coming up. And then there are a few more photos. And, and that's probably about as close as you're going to get in terms of that. You can see both towers up at around... 8.30 in the morning, the sun is officially up there as well. And then you also do have a, flo a photo of, this is taken directly before uh, this plane was destroyed when it crashed into the Pentagon. Uh, the CCTV footage of this plane crashing into the Pentagon obviously is very controversial. People saying it was a rocket, no, it was a plane, there's no way a plane could fly that low. I guess my take on this is you cannot tell from that CCTV footage. There's no way. It looks like a fireball. That That's all it looks like. The idea that anyone can say, oh, it's a rocket or they see a plane from that footage that we saw. And obviously it's very curious that that's the only footage we have. It's a fireball. It happens too fast. The, 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 the uh, recorder from outside of the Pentagon 
it doesn't give us a good enough picture uh, in terms of frames per second to actually see what exactly it was. And then there was also another video I saw float floating around of a far exterior camera. It was a surveillance camera, maybe from a Marriott or a hotel located near where the Pentagon is in Arlington, Virginia. And you could kind of see something, but I, I actually forget what that video was about, but I know there was another one. Uh, that's just another photo. You can see 836, so that's, yeah, that is 10 minutes before. It is crazy, New York City. So the interesting thing with New York City, if you're wondering why it looks like it's literally, I mean, it doesn't look like it's noon there, but if you're just judging off the photo, it looks like it's about 11 a.m. based on where the sun is positioned. So that's because New York City, the sun rises really early in comparison to other places, but it also sets a lot earlier because of its location based off of its time zone. It's so it's located so far to the east as opposed to a place like Ohio. Technically, Ohio and New York have the exact same time zone, but in Ohio, the sun's going to set a lot later because it's located more on the western side of the eastern time zone, if that makes sense. So that's why it is like very light out at 836 in the morning, but then in New York during the winter, it'll the sun will literally set at like 435 at night on December 20th and December 21st. The solstice, they're normally actually two days. People think they're only one day. It's its its actually the, the 20th and the 21st, and then the summer is the June 20th and 21st. The official day is the 21st. But And then you can see the World Trade Center lobby of the South Tower. That is filmed on the 10th, and you can see the raindrops surrounding it during uh, one of the storms, probably at around 6 o'clock at night, if I had to guess, based on how dark it is. Looks like it's not totally dusk or anything like that. There's a lot of cloud coverage, obviously, so it's hard to tell, but you can see the tower is lit up at that point, and then that's just a lot of the smoke, uh, you know, right after uh, one of the towers collapsed there. You can see just how ridiculous it was, and it is really hard to grasp how much crap when those towers collapsed, how much cement and just raw material fell onto the ground and how much just horrible fumes that type of situation would create. And then this is just something I was thinking about maybe doing a video on this. So there's people that think this renovation was going to happen in 2002. This was actually a renovation that they had planned for the Twin Towers in 1995 that never happened. You can see there's like a community area in the front. It was going to take away from the big sphere in the front. They ended up not doing that. And you can see there's like a almost like a connector there for people to walk around, takes away from the plaza as well. And then this was another thing that I saw that I just wanted to share. So this was a planned building. This was from about four years ago that they ended up not doing because they said that it reminded people of 9-11 and the Twin Towers being impacted by both planes based on where, I mean, this, this modern art stuff, I, I know people are going to have different opinions, stuff like that. It just looks like two buildings have some type of cancer protruding or like some type of tumor protruding from the middle of them. I, it just looks so ugly to me, but apparently because of the Twin Tower situation, these could not get built. It's kind of an interesting thing there. And then this is the last confirmed photo of the interior. This was taken right around 8.30 in the morning, uh, World Trade Center 1, so this would be the North Tower. Pretty crazy, the last confirmed photo of the interior. There is other photos inside both towers after they were hit looking down at the plaza. When both of the towers got hit, or even just the North Tower, there was still so much crap. There was like, an, like five inches of dust on the ground from the impact and all the debris falling from it. And you could even go out there and when people were filming, there was just so much debris already on the ground before either of the towers collapsed just from the plane impact. And there were several different plane parts that were sprawled out all over the place. And then there is that creepy photo that I saw yesterday. That's of the mall underneath and it just got destroyed with a bunch of crap. It just got completely wrecked. But you can see, I mean, that's crazy. How does that even survive? That thing got ejected out of the building. Or do you think maybe as the plane was going into the building, it kind of just, the plane itself broke immediately and then it just ejected right out? Because there were pieces of the plane that ejected out of the other side of both of the towers, especially the one tower that was hit head on. Uh, but that is just a crazy image there. Uh, and I thought I would share some of those. But guys, just some interesting images before 
the entire ordeal. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.